Hi, so this is a quick video about foldable phone cases, in particular Honor foldable phone cases and my complaints for them. So if you don't want to hear me complain, go to a different channel maybe, watch something else. So I have the V2, sorry, I have the V2, nope, I have the V3, I had the V2 and the V2 came with this case, stock in the box, everyone has it and then the V3 comes with this case. So. The Honor phones, the Magic phones, the foldables, they're, they're amazing, they're incredibly thin and something you want from a case is to maintain the fact that it's so thin. They nailed it with this case. So for whatever reason, the cutout, the thinness of it and the hinge, it's amazing. It, felt, it didn't add anything to the phone. Now I don't have the phone with me anymore, I've tr traded it in for this one. But they nailed it with this case. I did have an issue with it, which I'll get into. Um, but is amazing. The hinge didn't protrude beyond the screen, front screen, which I'll, I'll come to in a second. Um, the stand was very useful. You can stand the phone up that way, that way, even the foldable open position as well and watch a movie. Um, what else is there? But the problem was actually, this hinge or stand here would make it so that you, I couldn't really figure out a mounting solution for this to my car, like a magnetic mounting solution. I had to get a case, uh, a stand where it like grabs onto the phone, which I didn't like, and it fell out multiple times and actually almost damaged it. I did damage it. So that was that case. Now with the V3, for whatever reason, they've went away with the thin case and they got a thick case. Ignore this bit. I'll show you what that is. That's something else. They came up with this case. Um, they have this really fancy hinge system, um, stand system, but it's useless. Like it wouldn't hold a phone up and you cannot, you can't use it in any other position than other than this. And when you try to use it, actually the phone's like this. When you try to use it as a uh, foldable kind of orientation, this hinge doesn't hold it. And it's one-sided. This one is more central when it sticks out. So it takes the weight well and it just feels really nice. This feels nice too, but if functionally this hinge thing is not good and it protrudes out so much more the whole uh, case is thicker heavier and the hinge is pretty bad because this case actually comes with the fa the face plate or what we call it the front cover screen protect um, bumper this case doesn't i don't like the whole it, it just takes away from the phone so much and looks ugly but when i put this phone on without that cover this case hinge protector just protrudes. It catches my finger. It doesn't look nice. It doesn't sit well. I'm not sure if you're seeing it, but it just doesn't feel as sleek as this one. Even though it's magnetic, it feels solid. This is the best hinge for it because it's, it's from factory. But this case is bulky. I've tried to just not use, oh, by the way, a good technique is to open the cases, is to open it from the hinge side, close the phone. Then just pinch with your nail, oh, like that. I tried um, going naked with the phone, well, as in no case. Uh, so I, I, I use this kind of non-stick pad, not non-stick, non-slip pad on it, which actually gives me some grip, but that's not a good solution for holding it onto my magnetic phone holder. So the stock case is V2, really good. Downside, you can't put it on like a mount. V3, just not nice at all. As in, the build quality is nice, but it's not slim, it's not sleek, it doesn't add, it adds so much bulk to the phone, it doesn't feel like a skinny phone anymore in your hand. So I went to AliExpress, because of course, you can't really see any slim or nice cases on, on your local stores in whichever country you are, me being UK, nothing good on Amazon, nothing good on eBay, UK. These cost, some of the prices, so, sorry, this is, this is what the cases, these are the cases that you'd find. So if you search for Aramid or Ultra Thin, we get this. And once again, I'm looking for a hinge protector. And then just another variation of that is, I don't think it's Aramid. Um, these cost about 20 quid each, 40 quid altogether, just to get two cases. Oh, that's a lot of money for cases, for me anyway. But I justified it because this phone's expensive and I, it's gonna give me what I want or if I thought so at the time. Um, usually, you have to shop around quite a lot. Usually they, they sell this for like 50 quid, 80 quid. A lot of people buy them. I, I'm kind of good at Aliexpress and finding the hidden listings without any reviews that are the same product but cheaper. So I managed to get this for around 20 and this for around 20. Now, starting off with this one, 
it's a lot thicker. I don't really know why I bought it. I think I was just trying twice to mix, uh, just to, just in case I don't like the case. One of the cases. So if I put this on, um, I'm not gonna stop it in because I don't wanna struggle in camera again. Uh, issue, the hinge is not magnetic. It's like, it's like just the fact that elasticator on, it's just the fact that it curves, it just holds in place. And it, actually I put it on. Feels really thick again. And the hinge, look, it doesn't sit well. It's just squashed in there. There's no mag magnets that I can feel. Massive gap. And once again, oh, this is how it rests. Sorry, the camera was pretty bad. This is how it rests. It rests open slightly. And it protrudes out again. Because I think, I don't know, I think maybe they sell this variation with another with something on top of it. So, does it work with the MagSafe thing? Oh, this one's very weak. But it does. Well, the magnet part works. I'm gonna just take this off off screen. Oh, this is solid. Okay, so I didn't like that case from the get go. I bought two because I thought I like one of them. Then this one is a lot thinner. It's a lot more promising. It's got the MagSafe feature in it, and it's got a hinge protector. And this one's got a sticky. Um whatever you call it, strip down the middle. This one actually held onto the phone strong enough, um, so you don't need that sticky thing. But the thing is, even with the sticky thing, it doesn't work. So I'll put this phone case in. All this side is nice. The hinge, the, the leather just looks cheap. Same problem as this one. I think it's supposed to have magnets because I can see a bit of metal there, but nothing, there's no traction. Once again, it protrudes too much with that a front piece, they don't sell this with the front piece anyway. Feels horrible. The worst part of this one is the phone slides about inside of it. I'm not sure if, it, if it's coming across in video. So like when I was like holding the, uh, pushing the hinge in, or just fidgeting with it, the whole phone would push against my thumb. So I thought the phone was that bad. I thought the hinge was like pivoting like this, but no, it's just the phone, the whole phone sliding inside of it. So yeah, this is not good either. And then MagSafe, the magnets on this are really nice. This is like solid compared to that one. But how do you know what you're gonna get? Like, especially if you're waiting like a week for my Express. Um, magnet's good, but the charging is awful. I'm not sure if I, it's cause I bought a, no, it's not. Cause I, I use this on my iPhone and it works fine. But when I use it on this phone to try and charge it through MagSafe, like a third party MagSafe adaption, it just doesn't go up. It takes hours for any percentage to show, and on top of that, the whole phone gets warm. Uh, yeah, one second, I'm coming. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is an iPhone. I don't know if it's going to allow me to pause and cut that out, so that's going to stay in. Um, yeah, so magnetic charger. Uh, the magnetic pad is really good, but the charging is awful. Um, so I don't think it's worth getting MagSafe for the charging. The, this doesn't. This gets warm, but the phone gets really hot. And then I tried this on an iPhone; it works perfectly fine. So I'm going to return this. Hopefully, they accept it. So don't get it for the charging, or thinking it's going to work with the charging. Or maybe you have a different experience to me. Just let me know. It works really well on uh, holding the phone onto a car mount. It snaps in place, and you can actually open the phone and um, ha actually have the navigation not fall off. The uh, the phone not fall off. Feel solid. I couldn't. I struggled with this. I couldn't have it on my phone, on my camera, and uh, ignore the home screen. I've not set it up properly yet. So yeah, that's my complaint. <clears throat> um, my complaint in summary is on a Magic V3s, V2s, on a whatever is going to come next. The cases, options are, are not good, and it's difficult to buy. And the stock case, in my opinion, from this one to this one, it went backwards. So I think after a month or so, I'm going to give up. But I need the car mount, so I'm gonna go caseless. But I'm gonna they come with these rings. I'm gonna put a stick those magnetic rings on here and have the car mount work that way. Have the phone beep in without the protection and return this because it doesn't charge the phone properly. So if I, if I had it on for the whole duration video, I don't think I might have would have seen 57% or anything go up. So yeah, apologies. This video didn't have a script, um, so it's probably not concise. Just wondering what your thoughts are. If you have any suggestions, 
what I'm after ideally is this thinness, this hinge protection um, quality, and I want it to be flush with the screen so it doesn't stick out like that. Same, same as this. Uh, I don't. I want that kickstand. I guess I want a version without the kickstand because I want to be, want to be able to mount it to the to a uh, MagSafe or magnetic charger. Because I can I can do without the kickstand and I can't have everything. So yeah, this version without the kickstand would have been nice. And more options, more third party options. Or maybe if Honor partnered with someone, or maybe Honor gets um, popular enough that other companies start making cases for them. There's this brand I really like, Nilikin, I think it's called. I wish they made the case. So if you're watching Nilikin, please make a case, frosted case for this. Um, keep it thin, nice and simple. Yeah, I'm waffling. Thank you for watching. Bye.